All right, guys, welcome, welcome. Today is September 12th. So I'm gonna be um, showing you guys a mage deck, and I'm pretty excited. It now um, I'd more so call it a tempo deck. Now what's really cool is you've been seeing a lot of control mage decks coming out that utilize Medivh, the Guardian. And don't get me wrong, I love control. I just, it can be, no offense, uh, boring a little times. However, when it comes to tournaments and, like, um, if you really want to get up there and ladder, control mage decks can be freaking amazing. You, I mean, you can fatigue your opponent. You can do a lot of awesome things. However, I do love tempo mage, so I want to make a deck that's kind of structured around the new legendary Mediv, the Guardian. Um, and this is what I got. Um, I still think I could maybe take out a card or two and play around with it. But, so far, my overall experience with it, I think I've lost maybe one game out of, like, eight. Um, and, uh, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm thinking about taking out a car and maybe putting in even another polymorph. Not sure, though. Now, um, Medivh the Guardian is just, like, a freaking awesome new legendary. Uh, what makes it so strong is, uh, it's a 7-7-8 seven, seven, drop. Now, that's, uh, okay, it's an 8 drop. I understand that. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, that in itself, okay, it being just a 7-7 seven, seven by itself, it makes it a very strong card. Now, with that being said, though, what's, what makes it just absolutely phenomenally amazing is your opponent can clear it next turn, right? You can never, you ever even attack, get a chance to attack, or any of that, and... That's not even what the card's about. The, what the card's about is staff, which is the 1-3 durability staff. That's where the beauty comes. Um, now, if they don't um, clear it, well, they, they still got to deal with a 7-7, seven, seven, which can do a lot of damage. So, um, great, great new card. Uh, I think Blizzard did a great job making it, and I'm pretty happy about it. Let's see here. I want to go ahead and get this going. Uh, I could throw out the Mana Worm. And start buffing him. I might have played that wrong. Let's see here. Yeah, I probably did, but that's okay. All right. So, um, what's a phenomenal combo between? I just came out with a druid um deck that features Medivh with the uh, Malgos. Check that out. I'll put that up in this video. A link to it. But um, they have the Moonglade portal, and then this has the Firelands portal. Now, what's so beautiful about it is when you have the staff summoned. You're, you're summoning, uh, I'll be summoning because with a sap, a 7 cost minion, and then the Fireland Portal, what does it do? Um, it, 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 uh, it does 5 damage, then gives you a 5 cost minion. So you get 2 minions within that play, which is freaking, it's awesome. I, I can't express how awesome it is. Um, alright, let's go ahead and do a clear. Go ahead and hit that with Barnes. Okay. But yeah, um, you'll, you'll keep hearing me saying how awesome it is, because it is, it is awesome. And uh, it's won me a lot of games. Um, I have Medivh the Guardian, and then I have Ragnos the Fire Lord. Um, they both are pretty darn good. Um, you know what, I didn't put any Flame Strikes or Blizzards in there. Doesn't mean I still might not, but I want to, the way I have this deck structured, I, I just want to get in there, I want to finish the game before... Even turn 10 before anyone can do a Yaxaron, before anyone can do a Azoth Corruptor and just end it. Um, and this deck can definitely do that. So I was pretty happy with it. Um, I came up with it, I think, yesterday. And I definitely want to get a video created. So hopefully I get a few good games and we'll go from there. And I'll kind of tell you what I'm thinking when I do it. Um, here we go. Um, that should take out the Blood Mage. If it doesn't, we'll go from there. There it is. Um, I'll even, in case he has a Doom Hammer, just freeze him. Hopefully take care of the Totem. Didn't, but I'm going to right there. I don't. I want to completely make my um, guy safe that has one health. Now, he could have Lightning Storm, Lightning Bolt. There are a lot of variations that you can use to clear those cards. Um, but I'm already ahead. And I'm doing perfectly fine. 
But yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, you don't have to save these for Medivh, but if you can, it's pretty freaking awesome. And then, so, you do have two 7-drop spells for Medivh, one 5-drop, the Cabalus Tomb, which can give you a variety of three different other spells that you can go off of. Watch this, I'll get both my flame walkers out. Go ahead, clear the guy with um, damage, and just start wrecking this guy. Alright. So we're way in the game. Doing great. I think I'm on a streak right now. Um, just kind of ranking up. Uh, don't judge this deck based off of my rank. Um, I haven't even tried to rank up yet this season. I've been just messing around with concepts of decks and stuff. Ooh, that was a good play. Could now what is this guy give him up? To, okay, but basically we want to kill that guy first. Problem is, is once they use polymorph, it will ignite. But um, hmm. I only have one polymorph, so I have to be very careful on how I use it. And I'm gonna use it right now. All right, per I got lucky right there. That was perfect. Let's go ahead with the arcane missiles. Continue to put pressure on our opponent, and he's down to what, like, uh, yeah, eleven? Not too shabby. Still have this for lethal. That's what I love about the Firelands Portal too. It's not a minion. It's anything, anywhere. Um, if he doesn't get out of taunt or anything, I could possibly end this next turn. No taunt. I'm sure he's got uh, um, things from a low card. Which, I haven't got my Deev yet, so I might as well just use my portal. Yeah, this th there it is. Things from below. Two of them? Oh, okay. You don't say. Uh, what do I do? I gotta use this guy. All right, so oh, I'd have to put both my guys into him. Kind of don't want to do that. Um, uh, I'm not going to. Well, um, yeah. Well, no, I'm not going. To. I'm gonna pass my turn because the the waker gives me. The, um, random two damage and then the spell damage on the other guy. So those are two two things I would lose. I'm gonna make him choose, um, and I'll go from there. Kind of hopefully make he, and that's that works for me. He's still in a tight spot, but uh, shamans are known for just coming out with monster cards really fast. Like look at that. That's a good turn for him. What we want to do is clear this taunt and just go, just go for lethal. Because between my, oh, there's Ragnos. Between my, um, I'm actually gonna throw out Ragnos. Between my two forgotten torches, which eventually turns into fireballs, and then I have two fireballs. Perfect to get the six six. Um, and then I, I mean, I've got so many spell damage cards. I should be able to finish this guy. He's still got. He's probably got a hex. I'm sure he does. Cause he's gonna hit me first, and then he'll hex my Ragnos. That's what you're always supposed to do. Here comes the hex. No. He's got three mana still. No, no hex. Oh bummer. But he's trying to overload the board so my Ragnos doesn't go to his face. Uh, okay, we'll see what we get drawn. There's Medivh. Now I can save my Forgotten Torch. Or I could potentially almost end it. Kind of want to play it safe. Um, I'm gonna, I don't want him drawing any more cards. Uh, I'm just getting rid of. But hopefully it'll hit him in the face or take out one of their bigger guys, the four, 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 five. That works. He's looking for a hex. Now, I still have that torch. This game, tough game, you know. Um, shamans? Tough, because of what makes shamans so hard is 
they've got guys that make guys, and then they got like Evolve, and then this Master of Evolution, which when their one of their guys is almost dead, they make a guy that's another mana class higher. You know, it makes it tough. You might Lightning Storm me or something. Portal. And now I can clear some of them. That's good. Okay. No healing. Now he got a taunt. He wants to kill. Did he not just clear Ragnos? Ballsy, dude. Real ballsy. Because I can't attack. That's why he did that. So, well, okay. Now, if this guy has a, a bloodlust, that's going to really suck, man. Um. Because he, I think he could potentially kill me. Now, hopefully I take out a 6-5. Okay, Bloodlust to do plus 3, 6, 9, 12. Plus 20. That would be exactly 23. No, he doesn't have a Bloodlust. Now, watch this, guys. So, okay, he cleared my 7-7. Seven, seven. They think they're like, oh, no. Not even. I have lethal, too, by the way. But the Firelands portal, watch what, what, what happens when I summon this. Oh, no, he's got a dragon with... Bunch of whelps and a claw. No, the guy's dead. Um, so watch, watch, watch how cool this is, guys. So go like that. Bam! Watch how it creates two guys. So awesome! Look at that. I just got legendary and a three six, and then I just clear this guy. Baron will do the rest, or I could hit him in the face with my last durability with weapon. Bam! GG. So cool. Um. Awesome video, uh, Monastreak, obviously, but uh, that was uh, video number one. I might do another video, but yeah, that's a little tutorial on how to use a deck. Uh, could still use a little work here or there. Maybe it's maybe it's good at where it's at. I don't know. I'm going to continue moving up the meadow on the ranking, and I might have to adjust as it go, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that.